what we shall try to show to you uh, and the debate that we shall have uh, on, on this is that there could be uh, also uh, additional, better, more sustainable uh, ways to deal with the Greek crisis, uh, measures and reforms which come on top and are compatible huh, with the measures already taken uh, by uh, uh, the Greek government, uh, by Commissioner Rehn and the Commission uh, as a whole. The Commission decided uh, a few weeks ago to set up a special task force uh, on Greece uh, to identify and coordinate uh, all the technical assistance uh, that Greece needs to deliver concerning the EU IMF uh, economic reform program and to accelerate uh, the absorption of uh, the structural funds. This work, uh, of course, uh, will be carried out uh, in close cooperation with uh, Greece, uh, its uh, authorities and its uh, civil society. Our strategy for growth driven by business sector recovery is simple and pragmatic. We started with export promotion and the complete restructuring of uh, investment incentives in favor of uh, comprehensive growth enhancing reforms for the business sector. We continue now with a special effort to attract foreign direct investments. The challenge is to succeed on the program that the government, as the minister has said, has committed, the, the program of fiscal consolidation and debt stabilization, and at the same time, uh, the program of structural reforms. Structural reforms that will enhance productivity and growth. Uh, we in the EIB, as uh, the European Union's long-term uh, lending uh, bank, uh, see our role there very important, and we are committed uh, to financing new investment in Greece. But the, the message that I want to pass today is that even we need help in that. We cannot make miracles. We cannot pull the whole thing on our own. And basically, there are three very simple uh, uh, principles from economics which you should keep in mind. The first one is that in the long run, you can consume only what you produce. Right? And Greece has, for 10 years, done more, and it still does today. Uh, so the key issue has not been not enough capital, not enough investment. Because right now, the investment rate is a little bit lower in Greece than otherwise. But I think one cannot say more capital will cure the problem. Okay. Next question is, what about the quality and the quantity of the human capital? You see that a lot of progress has been made in Greece. But you see, that's far below the levels of the other countries. We cannot get out of this mess without more investment from Europe. Public investment is a bit higher than 1% of GDP, so it's not investing. And the private sector cannot invest because nobody is giving them money. We propose that the rest of Europe should ask for deeper expenditure cuts in public consumption and offer in return additional money for investments. It's not only a question of money. There is, of course, it's always a question of money, but not only. There is uh, a lot of money available. Of course, the current absorption rate uh, on the surface is uh, rather satisfying, but but, and this is important, uh, we need, or Greece need, and, uh, but all uh, stakeholders and players, uh, su uh, um, a sufficient uh, legal frame. Uh, and that means that we need certain novelties, adjustments, or even new uh, laws. The key is to turn Greece around and make it a site where invest potential investors uh, are willing to, uh, to go and, and to invest. And what does this mean? This means, of course, first and above all, that a few deficiencies that still exist in Greece be eliminated, and be eliminated quickly, as quickly as possible. And that means you have to have a reliable administration that is really objective, that does not serve clientele, etc., that, that, that uh, considers itself to be the trustee of the money of taxpayers.
the word has been mentioned several times, implementation, implementation, and again, implementation. Deliver on that front. It's not anymore about capital or about legislation. It is about what we have done, deliver, implement, execute. We also have emphasized it is very much about communication discipline. It's about message coherence inside Greece, but as much also, ladies and gentlemen, outside of Greece. Entering into the euro allowed this discrepancy between uh, production and consumption to go on for longer than it would have happened otherwise. Uh, Greece would have had a, a balance of payment problem and would have had a crisis and the problem would have been uh, solved painfully, uh, but there would have been a devaluation, there would have been this issue. So here, that was accumulated and somehow the system uh, allowed that to happen. We spent more than what we produced. Why did we spend more than we, what we produced? because it was politically possible and because the political system was of course very happy to keep the people happy in spending more money than it had. The second problem we have is the problem with Mrs. Zavella mentioned, the mentality, because nothing comes from nothing. Having uh, this kind of political attitude, we teached the people, we taught the people that this was a nice way to proceed.